Volley Eye Diagnosis by Dick Powers Volleyball on Taya Daisy 2020 uh, graduate. Taya, first time looking at Volley Eye for you, so I really want to go in depth. Uh, this we will come back to because it's an end result of what you're going to see after your second serve. You serve two in this sequence. I'll go as quickly as possible. Um, so here we are. Uh, so this will clear, we'll go on, you'll see. So we play here, I'm going to jump way ahead to your next serve. And I really appreciate the camera angles. Thanks, Mom, Dad. All right, so here we are. Taya, good athlete, you know, eighth grader, uh, good sports career already. Uh, what we're going to do is focus on some of the hows and whys of what you do and what may have caused problems for you in the past. So this, to me, looks like a good athlete, right here. Strong, capable, like I said, good sports history. What we'll do now is start looking at some things. A lot of stuff going on before you serve. All right, so... This approach, or final two, the foot plan on this is right-left. You're right-handed, so right-left, which allows the weight to be transferred, push forward from the back push-off foot, uh, which is the stability foot. The front left foot is the guide foot. doesn't really have much to do with the um, actions of serving. Um, and you will then get the hip thrust upper torso twist into the serving motion and we'll go what's called to body to ball position or we call it body to ball and so we'll go there next so here you are standing look pretty comfortable been taught put your hand like that Dick Powers eyeball teaches similar your hand looks a little tight uh, your right hand so here's your hand Technically, you would just do what we call the elbow wrist exchange, and you would keep the ball outside in front of you. That's where your hand is starting right now, and you would hit the ball approximately in that position. So we're going to put the dot right there and see if it'll stay. So moving ahead. Now, this is what concerns me. The dots over here, you've been taught to do this. You have some history with some shoulder issues. Um, let's start diagnosing how and why and what we'll do to correct all of this in training. And by the way, this affects your um, attacking, and your attacking affects this. We call the skill of hitting the general skill with the sub-skills of attacking and serving uh, underneath the general skill of hitting. So there's your power, we call it power point. The strongest way a human being can perform a ball skill. Uh, in hockey, how do you hit a puck the strongest? In baseball or softball, how do you hit a home run best? Uh, it's a utilization of body and an instrument. In this case, it's your hitting arm uh, to effectively and safely strike a ball. So now, uh-oh. So literally, you have now had, and I like this, you're still up to your toes, that's appropriate, slightly bent knee, weight transfer is occurring, but you've actually had to step this direction, your intelligent person, to strike the ball. That doesn't make any sense. You are actually now letting the ball control you versus you controlling the ball. So your body-to-ball position is out of whack. Um, so anyway... Now, here we go. Now, you have leaned, and we will address this particular action, arm action right here. This is not a snapping motion. I think you're trying to serve the back of your head over the net. It looks like to me. But anyway, you're making serving way too hard, and with any type of concern for your shoulder, this isn't going to fly. So, there you are. So now, your push-off stability foot is now off the ground. You are now trying, slightly going up to your toes in your left foot, and you're still keeping like up this up like you've been told to do. And so your hitting action, your hand looks a little tight. Right now your V, your thumb should be this way, and your forefingers should be that way, 
or four fingers, like four fingers, you're first and tall man. But you have now compensated by the initial, the dot was right about there, and you're hitting the ball over here. And so, and that's how you end up, because you've had to compensate. You've transferred your center of gravity, your weight is transferred to the left. So you serve again, so we'll take a look, a little quick volley, go ahead, and here we are. Might want to just uh, get rid of some of all the stuff you do. So obviously you've been trained. Here's your right, left again, right, left, excellent. Pre-hit pause, this is like, a. it's the beginning of a pre-hit pause is what it's called. And the scans that I sent you were all pre-hit pauses. Now, that's about where your PowerPoint should be. So I'll see if I can leave it here, and uh-oh, how come you threw the ball over here? We will teach you why. It looks like you're really trying to throw the ball towards your PowerPoint over here, uh, but, and I think that's about there, but um, you can't, and I'll, we'll teach you that. It's one of the secrets. It's not really a big secret once you figure it out. It's pretty simple, but the way human beings are made biomechanically, you, what you're doing, you can't throw a ball to your PowerPoint. So you compensate, you step this way, and then over a pile of dog poop right there. Oh, there it is. And you've actually, now you see your body, that's your body angle right there. So anyway, that addresses some of your attacking also. So that's introduction. I uh, want to get this uploaded to you and get you started. A uh, couple more coming out this morning, and then we'll go from there. First homework here, ask questions, all the questions you ask. And your questions tell me how much you know uh, and how much I need to keep teaching to you that you don't know. Uh, that's why we're working together. Thanks, Taya. I appreciate it. Good job, Angles, on parents. Bye-bye.